All right, guys. So today, um, well, I just got done casting about 75 pounds of bullets uh, between yesterday and on on Saturday. So over the weekend, I ran out of time to size them. So I have a bunch of bullets left that I still need to size. And so I'll give you a, well, I've already cast and, and uh, powder coated the bullets. I got everything from these uh, slick sided nine millimeters to these, the mold that I designed for 458 SOCOM. Uh, these 500 grain pointy bullets, slick sided. Um, I also got some super wide flat nose uh, 44 mags. That one's pretty cool. And I did some some hollow point, uh, some clear coated hollow point um, uh, 300 blackout bullets also. And oh, and I did these little collar button. Um, it's a it's for like a 4570 collar button mold. Um, it's a 186 or 187 grain bullet. Uh, I did this one in clear coat also. Uh, anyways, this is a, a great little plinker bullet. So I have all these bullets to size that I haven't gotten around to yet. And so I wanted to show you uh, one of the tools I use for sizing. Um, it's this NOE uh, sizing die. It's a bushing sizing die. And what's cool about this is that it works really similar to the Lee push through sizing dies, but instead of having to have a, a, a separate die for each caliber, um, you just have this universal die and then you buy the bushings for the for the size that you want to uh, size your bullets to. So I've got one in 501, 502, uh, 459, a bunch of 30 cals, 22 cals, just a bunch of a lot of things. Uh, anyways, the way it works um, is you just put the bushing in here and it has a set screw right there and you tighten that set screw to lock it in and then you actually screw this die into the press from the bottom side. So uh, I'll go ahead and show that in a little in a minute. But uh, you so you screw that die in, and then on the top side, there's these uh, pieces that uh, slide inside the die like that, and then. You can throw on, let's see. So then you throw on one of these Lee uh, little bullet holders for after they get pushed through the sizing die, they go in here and it holds them. Uh, so you can just crank out a bunch of them and not have to worry about pulling each one off at a time. All right, so we'll get started. Um, so I think, Let's see. I'll probably try and size these, uh, the, those big uh, 500 grain uh, 458 SOCOM slash single shot 4570 bullets first. And so I got my 459 bushing. And so what I do is I just get it right here, pop it in here. And then I just, it has a little Allen screw right there to tighten it up. Okay, and once that's tight in there, then I can go ahead and screw this in. Once that's screwed in nice and tight, then we can just go ahead and throw 
this guy on top. And that just, I guess you can screw that in with the, the Allen, Allen wrench to, uh, to tighten that, but I don't know. I get, I'll just go ahead and do it. A lot of times I don't even tighten that up just because it's not like it comes loose. Um, so then the next step is you grab one of those uh, Lee uh, bullet containers. I'm just going to throw that on top. It just sits right there nice and... Scoot this back. It sits on top nice and good. All right, and then there's a couple different ways to use this NOE bushing sizing die system. Um, you can get the uh, push through rods, which go into, they just snap into where the shell holders go. And uh, you can push them through point, pointy uh, nose first. Or another way to do it. So it also comes with this handy thing where you can put in one of your uh, custom nose punches just like that, top punches I guess, uh, and it just snaps in there and then you can go ahead and tighten that down and, and you could put that down here and you can push through... Uh, or size of the bullets um, base first. So some people like doing it nose first, some people like doing it base first. Um, it just depends on, on your preference. Uh, when I'm gas checking bullets, I like to do them base first so you have gravity and the force of the pushing it through the sizing die working with you to make sure that the, the gas check uh, stays on snug versus uh, nose first uh, sometimes I'll get uh, gas checks that when it's crimping on it'll like start pulling off um, and sometimes they just don't go on quite as, quite as well when I do a, a nose first gas check uh, or put the gas check on nose first so anyways that's uh, those are the options to do base first or nose first and it's, it's pretty nice to, to be able to do that. When I have bullets that are pretty tight or I guess oversized bullets um, with the powder coat if it's a little thick or something I like to make sure to uh, um, lube the bullets before I try and size them. So uh, one of my favorite ways to lube the bullets real fast is to just use some sizing wax or like this uh, uh, the Hornady unique case lube lasts like forever and uh, I just put on these gloves get some on my hands rub the bullets and then good to go Okay, so now that those are all lubed, I like to take off the one glove and put and leave this one still on. Uh, we'll go ahead and try sizing some of these. So these are actually like going through pretty easy once they're lubed. All right, so not to bore you, I will show you the other way of sizing real quick. Let's see. So here's that top punch, and then tighten that down. As a side note, um, I used to never buy these uh, top punches because I didn't really need them but 
um, when I started sizing some of these uh, base first, then that's that's when I started ordering these things with with every um, bullet mold purchase, and they're they're really great. You can let me see. Yeah, so they're machined perfectly to fit the nose of the bullet. So when you push it through, it, it just there's no deformation of of the nose when you use these these uh, top punches that are built specifically for that particular bullet. I think these only cost like it's either five bucks or eight bucks or whatever, but they're they're totally worth it. So I always order these whenever I order new molds. So it's right there. Go ahead and size some of these uh, base first. Mm -hmm. 